Hello everybody, welcome to the Champions Cup 45 draw. It's just been drawn. Um, we shall go through all of these all of these matchups and uh, and see see you know all the teams and everything. Uh, in the booth with me is Fimey. Hello. Hello everybody. Hello fans of Blood Bowl. <laughs> Here we are for this uh, competition, the 45 CCL Cup. Glorious. Could be the last one ever because the world could end any day now. That's true, yeah, yeah. Not, not be, couldn't be the last one because of Blood Bowl three, obviously. But <laughs> <laughs> I'll have some Bludge versus Danger High Voltage. Okay, this is surely an Amazon team. It is. Will King. Um, let's have a look at his records. Eighteen four two. Very nice. Um, yeah. Only one AG four player. Five guard, Pom. Very lean, 15, 1500 TV. Yeah, very lean, yeah. There's not a lot to it, but it is very lean. Um, versus Veli. Danger high voltage. Oh, these are the high L's. These did better than me, 1491. Um, but the team is unexciting, isn't it? Very, a very unexciting team. Um. <laughs> Very undeveloped, you have to say. Yeah, it's. I mean, there's what well, there's there's four bludge, uh, six bludge, six bludge and a dodge. Um, and yeah, it's an un unexciting team. I think I think the Zons will be favoured for this one. Yes, um. because they could get the the cat a player or something like that. They could get a wizard. Yeah. And even we saw the wizard, they have a much better team. Yes. Team is... It's a bit of a rubbish team, isn't it? But I mean, decent record, and obviously Veli is a good coach, but um, that is. Obviously, some players died there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is, that, is a, that is a poor, poor high elf team. Oh boy. Oh god, I've just seen the Owl Watch here. Right. Owl Watch versus Aerolethics. Aerolethics, that could be Kislev. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, it's it's Elven Onion, Mad Jake, nineteen five three. Oh God, oh God, he's got a he's got an AV bust catcher, a niggled blitzer, and an Edge three blitzer. Very beaten up team. Yes, good uh, skills and start with bad injuries. Yeah. A rematch from the last cup. There you go. Yeah, that looks. A, this looks a bit ragged. And of course, he's up against. You all know it from the team name. It's Cruz. A small Cruz team, though. Oh, ah, because he's missing a. He's missing two and a half. <laughs> so it's actually a twenty sixty team. Um, overall, is that? This actually maybe is good for him missing a bull here for the first round, right? Because. Uh, yes. Everything there, claw palms, two claw palms, lots of guard. Yeah, he's that though. Decent, uh, more or less okay, uh, hobgoblins. Mm. Adj one bull. <laughs> it's got an Adj three bull and an Adj one bull. <laughs> he still likes the mighty blow bull. That's funny, that isn't it? He likes the mighty blow bull. Does Chris... I think because he wasn't going to play Matt, so he wanted to level the bull as quick as possible. Mm. Interesting. I mean, what's his record? Uh, 35-8-8. <laughs> <laughs> He's played them a while. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's quite a few games. But, um, I mean, you know, anything can happen, right? Can't the elves with the wizard? Um, that, you know, any elf team can always upset the the, the bigger tackle full bash team, but yeah, it's unlikely, isn't it? You, you're, you're always going to back. I think you're going to back Cruz there overall, but there's certainly a very real chance for his opponent. And we've got we poop on your food versus me. me, 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 me. <laughs> Does them work? No. Okay. Well, as we poop on your food anyway, 
Janice. 2172, that's incredible. This was, it was an incredible uh, Skaven race this season, wasn't it? Unbelievable, like how many, how good the records were. 2172, very nice. Oh my god. Not a natty though. Not a natty. Doesn't didn't get the sprint. He got the uh, Aji instead of a sprint. Yeah, maybe he should have carried on playing. You know those few games to get seventy six. I think that is that is you know so critical getting that national one turner. Um, like obviously sidesteps good, but still very easy to get the one turn. Yeah. Also with a strength for a storm burning. No juggernaut though, so like you know, it, it can get stopped by like people with uh, people with uh, stun firm and that. I, I would have I would have liked to, to to. I guess he couldn't right because the the Skaven race was so so tight. I guess he didn't want to risk losing, you know, yeah. not winning enough and and dropping out of contention. So, um, yeah, I guess that's the thing. Fourteen players, these two are rubbish, but it doesn't matter because they're just meat shields, aren't they? Uh, yep. He has, uh, they are just there to die. Yeah, it's a pretty good team, isn't it? Actually, it's a pretty good team. The strength four claw mighty to blitz every turn. The uh, two sackers and nearly a natty. Pretty decent. Four rolls. Three rolls and the leader, so that's uh, really good. Yeah, uh, here is, is the team. And is this Alma forever? With a. Uh, with <laughs> the remains of a dark elf team. Oh man, <laughs> this team has seen much better days. <laughs> oh dear, twenty-two eight seven, decent record. Uh, but yeah, not much, not much left, is there? I mean, the four blitzers are good. The four blitzers why, are good. Why give a side step to the leaper? I mean, that should be the one the leaping in cages. Glorious. No, I won't. Uh, there's nothing. Uh, yeah, I guess he could have had tack, couldn't he? But I guess he already had tack. And I will defend. And if he carries with him, um, then had to use the sub so I could use Jim Sad to respond to people calling me a nonce for playing mahjong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you very much, Chugs. Um, I mean, I don't want to like call you a nonce live on stream, but yeah, you know, you should think about playing the mahjong. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> um, yeah, the blitzers are really good. The blitzers are good. I like sidestep. I mean, I, I like sidestep on everyone. But yeah, I see what you're saying. Like with t tackle and then the leap, the leap tackle would have been good, wouldn't it? Or like leap strip or, or leap ball, wrestle yeah. or something. Um, Moomins is the team. <laughs> And uh, as a bonus, Chugs, uh, what you, the, the, the emote you get is this brand new emote, which is Jim Beard, uh, the new the new hotel-themed emote. <laughs> so that's nice. <laughs> um, but yeah, all he's got is blitzers, and that's that's going to be it's going to be a bit rough because it's a pretty nice Skaven team, right? And here is here is the the match of the round. <laughs> If not the entire tournament. <laughs> oh dear, I'm gonna get dumped out by Rick's crappy kids left team. <laughs> You're gonna get dice it at a level that only Rick is able to die. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, yeah, I can just go back actually and look. Right, so here we go. This is it. This is Dirty Min Max's Rick's team. Unbelievable record 17 wins, 4 losses. Um, and there's not a lot to it, is there? How many players? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he's got four linemen, which is 24 more. So it's 1440. So he's got 300. 300. Uh, how in the heck? Easily space. He's Kislev with a wizard. Like, that's. And he's got an edge five catcher. <laughs> he's got two other catchers. He's got an edge four lineman. Um, so yeah, you know. The question like, is uh, no blitzers. Nothing like that. Very low strength team. I mean, if you're lucky with the mighty blow, you can delete this team. Yes. In three times. But I mean, he's going to protect the good players. So, and the good player is the only one that matters. So it's, it's. I mean, it's very hard. It's very hard. It's absolutely very hard match. No, well, space, yes, don't be an idiot. <laughs> don't be an idiot. Have, space. He has to protect them versus a player with movement eight, ag four, dodge. You know, so. Yeah. I think this would have been an easy win without a wizard. 
<laughs> but with because because without the wizard, I'm strength five, so it, all he can do is uphill me, like you know, which is just terrible, isn't it? Like it's just absolutely terrible for him. All he can do is uphill. Um, but he's got a wizard, so yeah. This is this is the team. Uh, th this would just absolutely counter him if there wasn't a wizard, but unfortunately, the wizard violently counters the edge five, uh, the strength five. Got an edge five of my own. Um, got some guard, but it's not. It's not really. It's really not an exciting. It's really not that exciting. I mean, the strength five is is cool, but it really needed to be legend to get tackle. Um, to be like ultimate elves, but yeah, Ve a very big chance, Gary, and a very big chance with a wizard. Like that's that's the thing. And yeah, obviously Rick. Oh yeah, I didn't look at the team records or anything. Oh yeah, I looked at Rick's. Yeah, 17 wins, four losses. Mine wasn't very good. 16 9 3. 16 9 3. Yeah. Rough uh, times for the high elves. Yeah, I got battered. I got battered so many games. It was ridiculous. <laughs> but, um, you know, hung in and qualified somehow against the odds. But yeah, I think this is going to be very, very, uh, very, very tough. Very tough match for me. Um, and it's going to be tough for Rick as well, right? Because my team is better than his. And it's all just coming down the wizard turn, pretty much. But still, um, he's got a very good wizard chance. Right. There's this team here. Oh, my God. Versus SF. Enzo's Dwarves. Um, 24-10. 24-10-4. Oh my god, what a disgusting, disgusting team. Ugh. Ugh. That's a lot of guard there. <laughs> very lean, very lean, lots of guard, lots of absolutely brutal amount of stun firm. <laughs> yeah, that is brutal. <laughs> that is, that is a scary... That is a scary looking team. I like how he's called the ball carrier. <laughs> the ball carrier with just a Surhan's block leader. Yep. That's, that, is a, that is a sick, sick team. Sick team. Right. I mean, it is very similar to most every every other dwarf team versus Chorfs. And so we'll be getting a we'll be getting about two hundred inducements versus these dwarves that only have a claw mighty. There's no piling on. Um, Twenty two eight three. So oh, also lots of guard, a, a monster hole goblin. Yeah, yeah. Eight guard, four strength four. Um, He's gonna need that, and the claw, the claw needs to work extra time. Also, three stone firms could be the classic uh, match where nobody moves a square for six turns. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's interesting, isn't it? <laughs> I think like interesting or extremely boring. Yes, I mean I meant boring. <laughs> <laughs> right, all out attack versus two plus hypno gazers. Okay, let's have a look. Kill Bill Walt. Okay, yeah, oh. No oh, shit, man, kids. Um, right. Yeah, so here's Kislev. 24 6, pretty great record. And. A pretty shit team, it's Kislev. Oh, look at that, that's really good, but. Uh, well, he has a tackle blow bomb. He has the tools. Only, only two uh, catchers. Uh, maybe too weak. Yeah. I mean, this is what you want eventually. Like Rick did the like the quick and nasty team, which was just get some catches in and like you know nothing else. Whereas this is what you rather what you'd have is to get like to get skill stacked on your blitzers because like they are they do end up great, right? Like this blitzer here, if he was yeah, a human that's... blitzer. With with Blodge Guard Firm, which we would take, right? And that's that's then he'd be a hundred. Then he'd be two hundred, wouldn't he? Yep. Um, what do you know? It'd be sixty, ninety. He'd be hundred and eighty. So for ten k, he's getting diving tackle and jump up, and a three plus leap. Like 
it's kind of incredible what they get for like 10k once they've got all these skills, but um, it's just that, so like they do become good value, they actually become good value later on, but it's just so long to get there, isn't it? Like this one, if this was a, if this was a, oh no, it was only, it'd be 20 less, wouldn't it? If this was a human blitzer, he'd be 60, be 150, wouldn't he, for a human blitzer? 150. But then, because you just wouldn't take the jump up with a diamond tackle. But you're getting jump up and diamond tackle and the 3 plus leap for only 40k, which is a really good deal. So, like, they do become good eventually, and like, obviously Crocs is good. Um, and they could have 4 blitzers and 4 catchers, couldn't they? So, like, they can they can be good. They, like, you can get a mythical good Kislev team, but realistically, you're not going to. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> complicated. And he has two plus hypno gazers from Razzle Storm. Um, he does have one two plus hypno gazer. I think he's referring to a Blood Bowl three rules or Blood Bowl. Yeah. 2020, 24, 10, 7. Decent record. Decent team, I guess. He has still uh, two skill ups on vampires, and one of them is the IG5 moving seven. So that could be interesting. He has pro. I mean, it's what you want in a. Bump team, developed vampires and a group of uh, <laughs> thralls just to do stuff and mm. get beaten. Yeah, that's uh, that's pre it's pretty. That's a pretty decent team. That's a pretty decent team, isn't it? Yes. Got... Maybe lacking a dirty player, but other than that, yeah. I mean, only five amps is fine because you know, like it's it's hard to it's hard to use six at once basically so having only five on the field means that okay you haven't got as much uh like you know what's it what's the word um redundancy and like with injuries and everything but it's it's more tv efficient to only have five because then you get to use five um you know you get to use the five all the time which is really good and you yes. know he's got a blood pro tackle which is what you need isn't it and sidestep i think that's looking pretty good team pretty good team yeah, so all the things in is one guard, one uh, kick. That's all right. Mm -hmm. And here comes, here comes the Nargle team. Everybody was waiting to see. <laughs> oh, yeah. What a yeah. what a what a what a quarter of the draw this is. We've got Cruz, we've got me versus Rick, and then we've got bloody Elliot as well. Oh man. Hope you like Nurgle. Look at this record. <laughs> 74, 30, 18. I think it is the longest run ever to qualify on the cup with a massive difference. No, there, is, if there was ever another team being able to do this. <laughs> One of the most epic and heartbreaking and soul destroying runs I've ever seen. <laughs> yep. Absolutely incredible. And he's ended up with a good team, like somehow. Somehow his claw pommer has got claw pom. Didn't get a tackle on it though. But he but he got a claw pom. He called this a claw pommer from when it had block. <laughs> this guy managed to knock age, unbelievably. Um he's played 114 matches. And he's uh, <laughs> he could he could I think I think he is guaranteed to stay through till the end of the till the end of the cup. I think that's why he played the exact amount of games that he played. Um, so he managed to not get him retire. Very lucky to not get him retire. And he's a pretty good player, isn't he? Um, yes, yes. Yeah. Well, therefore, there he has a strength, Aji, Nigel. <laughs> he has everything you can have on the <laughs> character yeah. seat. Yeah. On the box stick. <laughs> and the Warriors have been built like in the completely brainless way of Mighty Blow Claw Block. Just yeah, because yeah, no, he no, kind of had to, right? I he watched more to. than a few games of this, and it was uh, brutal. It was brutal to watch. And now that he has qualified, he has to upload the whole run on YouTube. <laughs> and if anyone, anyone managed to to watch the whole run, <laughs> I think they should deserve you know, a fresh subscription to Ali's channel or something like that, or, or going to the mental hospital. I don't know which one of them. But... <laughs> Yeah. Well, it was harsh. It was harsh sometimes. It was really, really unlucky uh, runs. There was a point where his uh, Dark Warriors were dying all the time. Mm. In fact, look at the team. It's only 11 players. Or Nargle. Yeah. <laughs> like, what happened? Yeah, unbelievable. Unbelievable. But he stuck with them. 
and he did it somehow. Absolutely incredible. Hats off. Hats off to Elliot for sticking it. Yes, around. yes. Incredible. Right, and he's up against Orcs or now, stupid. He needs to win at least three, four games because he gets out in the first game. It's going to never end. No, oh, well, he's, he's up against unbeaten, unbeaten Orcs. 17-3-0. Incredible. He's called Titty Twister, of course, from... Uh, What's it called? Dust Till Dawn, wasn't it? it was the Titty Twister. Yeah. And, uh, Very yeah. basic uh, orc team. Yeah. On paper, <laughs> this will be a work on the park for uh, a Call of Mighty uh, team. Yeah. Yeah, this should be easy win for Elliot. I mean, Elliot's Elliot has close as well, isn't he? So. Yeah, Elliot has more strength, more Mighty Blow, Claw. This team has absolutely nothing special on it. I mean, it's good. It's good if you could still play another 10 games and develop more the team. But for the cup, it's... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he should have played. He should have stuck another 100 games on this team if he yeah, wanted to, exactly. if he wanted to win. <laughs> it's the natural enemy of uh, Elliot's team and undefeated team, you know? <laughs> oh, man. Right. Big Pamo and Crazy Eyes Blue Lizards. Okay. Oh, halflings. Halflings are the next ones up. Oh god, edge four, move four. <laughs> well, sometimes, you know. <laughs> Not the best one turner. <laughs> Not the best one turner, no. Good to pick up the ball and hand it uh, to someone else. But yeah. yeah. Bare bones, absolutely bare bones. Each solid two losses. This guy is good. Yeah, great record, thirteen four two. Uh, but I mean, it's a, it's the usual, it's the usual team, isn't it? Like one or two re rolls, no apple, and no skills really. <laughs> so they just get, they just take their fan fact attacks, and and if they get a super one turn, they're happy. And if they get skills in the dream, and well, so be it. <laughs> It's against Lizards, decent matchup, I think, for uh, for Halflings, because Lizards, like, you know, they're stronger than most people anyway, you know, than most of the players don't, yeah. 22 5 2. Um, so, like, these might as well be strength 3, right, for most of the parts, so it's not it's not even that not even that good. Well, I have a good enough guard and uh, injured Croxigor because that's no block, which everybody knows is a. <laughs> Natural skill for Croxigors. Yeah. All of them roll a block, but this one didn't. But AG4 also is a decent lizard team, but has the tools, but nothing else. You know, there is nothing spectacular here about this uh, team. No. Besides no, that, all the Lizardosaurus have block, guard, but this, uh, right? Oh, I hate this. I hate this break tackle instead of guard. Like the guard would have been so much better there, wouldn't it? And he could have just had, taken guard on this one as well because he's already got the the guy who blitzes. And the blitz is pretty decent, isn't he? And that's that's a pretty decent blitz. Yeah, there. that's very good. A very good your, uh, mighty blow tackle, break tackle to be able to blitz every time. Yeah, but uh, it's 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 going to be interesting because yeah, that is a kind of a decent draw for stunties, but it's a it's a decent it's a decent lizard man team. Yes, because the Stantis can, you know, try to run away every turn anyway, and you can just have one Blitz uh, per turn. And still, there is the trees around. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, out of this, I think I think Elliot's the favourite to come through the bottom, and I think Chris is the favourite to come through the top. But um... I, I agree, but there is a lot of magic. Well, I'll see that Rick is the favourite to uh, qualify for the top. In the no, top, no, no, because it's Rick. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh... it's definitely Cruz with the two thousand TV <laughs> chops. But he can definitely lose to somebody with a wizard for sure. So, you know, and, and like he can lose the first round easily. You know, like just wizards. Yeah, it's, it's elf, so things could go wrong. And if he, he and Crucifer wins, recovers the bulls. Probably be a proper Crucifer team. Yeah, yeah. Right here we go. Hundred versus the date tree leaf. Okay. It's Ungern with vampires. Twenty-eight-five. Um. Oh 
god, these look yeah. terrible. These look a lot only, worse than the other vampires. Yes, it's only only for uh, vampires. Like to say it's eighteen hundred TV, it just looks like there's nothing, does there? There's four vampires. Yeah. There's no. Think there is, it's because there is a uh, fifth player. Yeah, and guard on these two. Three skills on this one. So too many skills on thralls. Not enough. And not enough skills in the vampires. Clearly, a few of the vampires died because there is 78, 80, 70, and 1. <laughs> but that should be a 5 uh, vampire team. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Mm, so, this could be a bit tricky for Ungern. And he is up against. Oh, Daedal! <laughs> it's Daedal. <laughs> With his ridiculous player, 35, 11, 7. Um... <laughs> for, for God's sake, I know this team. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh god. The armor's terrible, but but strength five, edge five, mighty blow tackle is unreal. Yeah, I mean, I mean you have to keep the player if he even has armor five. I mean strength <laughs> five, edge five, uh war dance. It's absolutely ridiculous. And the other one has Juggernaut, Ag5, Stream. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh man. Um Who gets the wizard? Well, that's a good question because Daedal could just go in with 11 players, but then 11 players is risky, so he's probably going to stay at 1900 and go 12 men. Maybe even go higher and go to 13. Be interesting. Be interesting, because the Vamps and the Vamps could also could also just cut as well. And the Vamps yes, and could Arth foul. And the money in the bank. The Elves have a 70 extra K in the bank. Mm. So the, it's going to be 180 1830. Yeah, if they want it to be 1830, yeah, but that's the thing. They might, they might not want it. They might want 12 players. So it's it's going to be interesting to see what they do. They're going to have to. I mean, I guess he'll buy the player first and then think about what he's going to do. Because obviously he's got to, he's got to burn 70k, whatever happens, right? So he might just, yeah. But just buy the player first and then think about whether he keeps him or not. And I think this is the this is the first time that Dadder qualifies for the cup. Is it? No. Oh, well, there you go. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, congratulations for him. Uh, I thought he had before, but... No. Famous Adelk is not, he qualified before that. Adelk Quist is here in the chat. So, yeah, yeah. Flagel Snap is, is Dale Quist. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, one with goblins and Skaven. Yeah. yeah, the goblins almost don't count, but... <laughs> yeah, I mean... The Skaven, I remember, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so... It's decent, isn't it? It's decent, but... Is 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 the the ultimate glass cannon uh, good elf team? Yes, it really is. Yeah, it's, it's, it's that player that uh, can win a tournament or can get you out in the first round. Yeah, and there's nothing to support him either, which is the thing. Like, I mean, yeah, okay, there's players, but there's nothing. Because really there is good. also two niggel uh, catchers there. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> It's kind of crazy, isn't it? But what a player he is, and obviously the other dancer's really good as well. To be fair, the other the other dancer would be a star on on most every team. But uh, yes, the other yeah. dancer will be the one people will be talking about. But the, yeah, that is strength five, ag five. That's one in a million, probably. Yeah, unbelievable. Right um, now we've got Thunder and Bone versus Angry as Fuck, which I can't remember who it is, but I know it's somebody. <laughs> Um, I think that was the top team, wasn't it? Oh no, Art was top, wasn't it? I think he was second. I think it's Cautions, Chaos. I don't know. We'll find out soon. So here's 2547. Uh, well, I can tell you, this guy is a Spanish coach. Mm. And he has Moridam on the team, probably a zombie racist from someone else's team. <laughs> yeah, glorious, cheeky little Moridam. <laughs> oh, and Blotch, Brick, Tackle, Mami, Block. <laughs> oh god, yeah, that's wild, isn't nobody, it? Nobody, nobody can stop that mummy from moving three squares. Yeah. <laughs> no, three whole three whole squares. <laughs> three whole squares, you know. Uh, just guard tackle, basic whites, basic ghouls. Sixteen hundred TV. It's, it's the thing, it's it's uh, an undead team. Yeah. I mean they don't have enough positionals to make, you know, very different teams. Yep. 
the end, he, they, they tend to look the same. Yeah, this was the team that was that was top through most of the season. Finally got usurped by uh, or the one, oh, Mrs. Dwarves. What has happened this season with people playing like a million games? <laughs> I mean, it's been a really great season, you know? It's been pretty crazy. Um, and yeah, obviously, you, you like this team, you'd imagine would absolutely smash the... Absolute shit out of that, <laughs> out of that undead team. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do that, the Warriors, uh, club on, uh, Warriors. Very nice, a uh, beastman with Juggernaut, club home. That's a, a scary, scary team. Ag four, two heads for the ball carver. Exactly what you want. Yep. Yeah, it's. It's a pretty great team. And, you know, Caution's good, isn't he? The only real chance is the Wizard. Um, you know, and we, we saw it work for Ducky against Andy Devo, didn't we, in, in this similar kind of matchup? Like, you look at the Undead and you just think, they've really got nothing <laughs> and they've got no way of winning this. <laughs> but it's possible if, if, you know, if he plays well and he's lucky. But, you know, huge favourite Caution for sure. And he's got a good logo as well. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> right. um, Mr. Throwing, brilliant versus PI. Okay. One of the PI teams, Necromanticlers. 26 3. And. Mandatory Mighty Blow Claw uh, Werewolf. Yeah. Leap on the other one, Leap Attacker. Yeah, it's a bit crazy, isn't it? Interesting. I mean, it's AG3, so that Leap. Well, obviously, it's to go through the cages, but. Yeah, only only one ghoul. Um, it's a good ghoul, though, isn't it? It's a very good ghoul. Yeah, and Dirty Player Kick. Zombie, there you go. <laughs> the big classic. Yeah, that's interesting. That's an interesting team. Like it's not that good, but like the the the, the fleshies are good. The wolves are good enough. The it has small fine. less everything uh, it needs. Yeah, it's it's kind of nearly there, isn't it? It's just a bit. It's only two mighty blow, but yeah. it's a necro, so they they have problems finding uh, more than four mighty blow anyway. That's the, yeah, that's the thing. It's really, they really struggle to get a to get guard. That's the bread and mask. Uh, guard and mighty blow are both both things. Look at this seventeen two zero. Another undefeated orc team. Incredible, incredible. What is it with these undefeated orc teams? Um, See that they just come to the you know play enough games. That's it to qualify. No need to play anymore. Yeah, but he's got the problem of his team's just a bit shit. <laughs> <laughs> only that we had a amount of games, yes. Uh, losing a short one blitzer, that's not good. No. No, this is the thing. I mean if if this game had like, you know, another another thirty games so that all everyone had more skills, you know, you've got... at least a few more games because there are more than a few players that are very close to uh, level again. Yeah. But again with the, with the with the race, the orc race being so tight everybody undefeated is like that's you you know you play another game you lose and you're out. That is the thing, yeah. And yeah, I think it was relatively late that he had the run, so it wasn't wasn't feasible to play enough games. And yeah, and exactly, you can get perms, and it's not like playing more games just is only a good thing, is it? No, no, it can be the, the end of the team. Ah, <laughs> very good, Dio. <laughs> All right, so now we've got a PDM team versus Twisted Tarantulas. Okay. Oh, there's only one PDM. Glorious. Oh, God, there isn't. No, okay, I won't one. give in until I'm victorious. <laughs> and I will defend. Oh, no. I will defend. <laughs> Tony with the ultimate. Jimmy, you have one month to decide what you are going to do for our five year anniversary. If you disappoint <laughs> oh, me. Oh, Tony it's dropping over. here, the big bomb here. Oh, man. Well, thank you only very much. Only five months, Jimmy. Only five months to prepare. <laughs> thank you very much, Tony. Absolutely glorious. 
Um, we'll probably have some kind of special WWE special here. That'll be good because that'll be that'll be that'll be hopefully sorted in a month. Oh, don't be so crude, PC. <laughs> Just to, <laughs> oh, no, I'm not, I can't even say what I'm thinking. <laughs> right. Anyway, um, we've got Dare Dare was Dare Dare was Dare was Dare was. There you go. He did great with with halflings once, didn't he? I think. But I mean, this isn't too good with goblins. But then goblins are a bit shit. Um, and yeah. Very high TV for goblins, maybe. Yeah, it's a bit. I mean, goblins are just shit anyway. Like halflings are so much better. Um, but you know, he's got he's got a team. <laughs> okay, <laughs> he's got a team. <laughs> He qualified, he qualified, he has a team, that's all you need. Yeah, well done. And he's up against Demonted. Um, 22-5-4, very good. And this is a per perfect game for Undead, this isn't it? An unexciting Undead team getting to stomp. Uh, stunt he's into the goblin. absolute dust. <laughs> yes, I mean, a mummy, a mummy with block. <laughs> The Pomber half a tackle. God, yeah. Yeah, absolutely brutal. Absolutely. But the thing that goblins have with the fanatic and the team, so they can, you know, more or less, uh, uh, they lose, but they eradicate your team. Yes. Yeah. Yep. And he could, and especially the ghouls, very fragile, aren't they? With no no apples or anything. No apples or anything. Just chainsaw them and see what happens. Yeah, but it's it's a pretty good team, isn't it? Yeah, six six guard. Four mighty blow. One of them's piling on with tackle, and there's a dirty player. Um, so yeah, I think I think huge favourite there to win that one. Um, oh, I know, I know which which one this is. Try our ding. It's it's well maybe like try our ding, isn't it? Like try harding, try our ding. See what he did there. Very funny guy. <laughs> First instant full mummy GFI. <laughs> Ah, it's Chiagant. Twenty-one five two. He's got a fucking strength seven mummy. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Some people could say that maybe taking, you know, block instead of the second strength was the right thing to do. But how are you going to get a strength seven mummy with block if you don't take the two strength? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, to be fair, like this is PC's facing this, but PC can probably just induce a death roller anyway just to match it for strength. So, um, I mean, yeah. it's like having a three on the pitch. <laughs> it is, yeah, yeah, movement it's three. Like a three on the pitch. Movement three, strength up tree. <laughs> Move up, strength up, tree. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty and good, the, isn't it? Yes, and the rest of the team is good. Have a one, two, three, four guard. PC's bigger than 1790. I can't believe this. Oh my god, he is. He's 1880. What a lunatic. 2585. We've never seen this from PC what ever. The hell? What the hell is this? 1880. What happened with the, uh, you know, lean dwarf teams? Then look at that. A long beer with Fen. A long hell? beer with Fen. Wow. Now I've seen everything. A PC dwarf team over 1500 TV. I didn't, I didn't it was know it higher. could exist. It was higher because that, there's a, a new blitzer. So there was another blitzer there. Did PC actually cross the 2000 barrier? <laughs> You know, is the, the, the desperation have reached that level? <laughs> do you reckon it, Dev? Do you reckon he's just gonna just gonna sack everybody? That's <laughs> <laughs> alright, Fred. What I was thinking, Fred. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's. I mean, I think I think he got Fen, so he can compensate for the fact that he's moving three. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen PC do this before as well. He takes a stand firm and he, he takes stand firm and fan. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? But he, I've seen him do it before. You can use whichever's uh, whichever's appropriate. Um, but yeah, it's it's interesting, isn't it? It's, that is very interesting, seeing a PC team with, with so high TV. And obviously we all know he's, 
he's a great coach so it'll be interesting but um wow i mean that's that's strength seven that's strength seven mummy could do the business what? couldn't it and hey, that's, the proper, coach, that's the proper monstrosity i like to watch you know on the cca <laughs> you know these teams with like the strength five ag5 uh, good elf strength seven uh, mummy. <laughs> Incredible. Right. Why the face? 22-3-3. Another one of the crazy Skaven records. Oh, God, his, his, his best players oh, miss the next game. Wow, Maybe he just hurt. took it as well. Because he got minus move. So it was his natty. It was his oh. natty. Sprint your feet. Leap. Strength Leap. That was, that was a perfect natty with Leap. But, oh. but yeah, he probably had to play to get in. And then got him not the only classic missed last next. game. Yeah, not only miss just, next, but move. Just, just one more game. <laughs> it's mm. an absolutely bare bones uh, Skaven team, but Skaven don't need much to win a game. That's true, but yeah, I mean, it's going to be rough without the one turner. Yeah, he's he's definitely going to get a wizard, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, 1300 TV versus 1770 Orcs. 1961. We've got three Orc teams and one loss between them. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> right. And this is this is a pretty this is the best Orc team I think, isn't it? In terms of level yeah, ups. I think it's a uh, level ups. Aji <laughs> on the blitzer, Aji on the thrower to make it uh, like a half use beast. Thirty-seven uh, player points on the thrower. Yeah, yeah, he likes it. He likes his Mister Throw, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clearly, clearly. Yeah. And this is why I don't like it because that seventy-three SPPs could have been dispersed over Blitzers and Blackhawks, right? That's the thing. Um, I really hate throwers. <laughs> As the troll has the goblin. I highly approve of that. Yep, yep. He's got the combo for the one turn. And he's got a pro pom, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's all right, isn't it? Not that much guard right. still. He needed guard on these two, didn't he? He needed, <laughs> as the other two orc teams, he needed to play at least one more game. But yeah, yeah. But if you risk to play one more game, you're out of the chalice. That is the thing. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Exactly, here, Dev. Yep. That is the thing that you need. You need to. You need that development on your blitzers and your black orcs and putting them on a. Shitty movement five guy is not what I like to do. <laughs> right, Hooly Mooly versus Shockingly Bad. I've, I, I know I know the name, but let's see what it is. Hooly Mooly is Fatal Justice. This was one of his two high elf teams. He played a lot of high elves last season. Qualified with two of them. Nineteen five four. Uh, high elves are of course a bit shit. <laughs> so that's why the record isn't that great, despite him qualifying two of them. And, uh, uh, yeah. It's a team, isn't it? Yeah, too many players, probably. Yeah. Too, you know, a little bloaty. For a 1900 TV uh, high elf, is a little, a little bloaty. But he has a juggernaut, mighty blow, a G5 uh, catcher. Yeah. Two, uh, three guards, could be four. That's, that's, that's really, really good because uh, IELTS benefit a lot with just one, two guards. I mean, any of team with a little guard becomes better. Yeah. But overall, it's a bit, it's a bit unexciting, isn't it? It's a bit yeah, there is, Oh, no, there is no monster player here. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have, he doesn't have a strength five guy, does he? <laughs> Shockingly bad. Oh yeah, I think this was the top Skavens for most of the season. Yeah, 19-2-1. Incredible record. He's got a strength 4 thrower with accurate. Yikes. Well, why give him accurate once you gave uh, he got the uh, you know, strength 4? I don't know. Dude, the strength 4 that player is not a thrower anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's... He hasn't, his storm vermin's aren't very good, are they? Not one turner, but two ag is one with two heads guard. So, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, he's got two suckers, even the ones missed next. I mean, for 15, 15 10 TV, it's really lean. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it'd be great records, so we must know how to play it, but, um. 
yeah, and it again un, unexciting. I think the two unexciting teams playing each other. There. <laughs> right, we've got this. Oh god, that versus Orky, Forky, Borky. Okay, right. Is this them? I think this is them Diomed. Yeah, I think yes, that's Dio there. 2264, very nice. Oh, tackle, tackle, pom, wolf. As you should, as you should, you know, proper uh, wolf getting dodged the last kill. Yep, edge four, edge four, cool. Guard, stand firm, whites with guard, stand firm, fleshies. Well, block guards. Fresh is you know what I mean. They've got, yes, got four yes. stand firm. No, it's a uh, three dirty players. This guy knows how to and how to net. Yeah, all with block as well. Which is like obviously kind of a bit shit, but on the other hand, they can still do things other than just foul. Yeah, may maybe you know uh, wrestling one of them will be you know. Mm. Yeah, I think that's I think that's pretty good. You know, I think that's a pretty good team. It's a very decent uh, necro team. Yes. It's kind of crazy. It's like it's kind of super TV efficient, and it's still nineteen hundred TV. Like, there's, it's still kind of bare bones, isn't it? Like, um, weird, weird how how Necro gets so much TV. Um, oh, he's beginning to do that. Wow, there were four Orc teams qualified. Twenty-seven two. <laughs> four Orc teams and three losses on them in total. Unbelievable. Well, this is the best Orc team. Look at this: two strength fives and a strength four blitzer. Guard all over the place. Crikey, that is a scary team, isn't it? It's a good orc team. 200 mm. uh, TV, very good. No, no, even... no orc thrower notice. <laughs> no thrower, no thrower, no agi, no plus agi or anything, only plus strength. These are strong boys. Yeah, yeah, what a difference. What a difference. The one team without the thrower has got all of these SPPs on his eight good players. Funny how that works. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, loads, loads of money banks. So yeah, is it really only nineteen hundred? Yes. Um, but you could have done something like bought a troll if you needed it or whatever, couldn't he? Depending on what the matchup. But uh, yeah, that I think it's at the point. Bad, it's at the point where having a troll is a good idea because uh, trolls are only hundred twenty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So it, you could do it. I think that's. Uh, I think that should be a good good team for him, shouldn't it? Good matchup for him there. Right, so now we're on the Oh, right, so let's have a look at this. So we've got... Oh, Caution's team from the top the top half, I would say. Will be. And for the... I'm rooting for the Strength 7 Mummy. <laughs> yeah, the Strength 7 Mummy, yeah. I think the Org team is probably the best team. The Org, the org team is the, probably the most balanced team there. And... Yeah. <laughs> now we've got Bert Gert versus Tree 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 again. Okay. Pawn bot with Bert, surprisingly. 15 4 2. Um, it's Bretonians. What can you say about Bretonians? <laughs> Standard Bretonian team. Uh, very uh, TV lean. Is that a Shadow Winner? <laughs> Shadowing <Yes>. lineman. <laughs> oh God. Love it. Absolutely love it. I mean, if it, if it only works one, <laughs> only once will be good enough. God, what a lo what a load of shit. <laughs> right. That's all I've got to say about birds. Uh, versus Sindins, Woody's twenty-one-three. Um. And well, well, that's a. Uh, have put money on this. I put money on the elves. Yeah, yeah. As as much as as much as birds are actually kind of decent against elves. Like you know, they're fast. Yes. They can foul. Um, they've got like you know they 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 generally get a double for mighty blow tackle and stuff. But also, even in humans, are also another team that like quite a bashy team. That. Decent against elves, but they still lose quite a lot to elves because elves are yes. still elves at the end of the day. <laughs> so it's like and and he has a shadow wing war dancer, which 
Let's be honest here, Shadow in Only Wars, who you are basing someone. In general, war dancers don't like basing people. Yes, yes. Generally, if, if your dancer's basing someone, he's just going to get punched, isn't he? So. Yes, so maybe diving tackle. I think Shadow is for the lols there. I mean, Sindai knows how, knows how to blue ball very well. Yeah. So they, obviously there was something else that are going there. But it's the Shadow Wing versus Shadow Wing game. <laughs> yeah. The Peace Hand versus the War Dancer. <laughs> they can base each other. <laughs> like Shocker Rockers. Versus. Le Marcelet. Ha 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 ha. Wee wee wee. 24-6-6. And. Yeah, good blitzers again, because it, except it doesn't have dodge on this one. Very good, the uh, witch. Yeah. That juggernaut, the frenzy combo is so good, so good. Yeah, it's not one guard, he has, he has uh, the tools, but only one of each tool. <laughs> yeah. And most of them are injured anyway, because <laughs> the guard guy is armor 7. Yeah. Yeah, it's not that exciting, is it? <laughs> oh, of course, the large third with. The, of course, it was Proels because they've, they've got the shocker out there. 1963, uh, nice record. Oh, wow, he's got a lot of stats. Holy moly. Wow, there is a catcher there. Movement 9, AG5. That's so. Oh. And a strength 5 catcher. Imagine having a strength 5 catcher. Wish I was ever that lucky. Yeah, yeah, but Macy Mighty Blow, so should fight uh, him, you know. <laughs> um, and a very good uh, blitzer that got just cost cast in the last game. Diving yeah. tackle, tackle, fan. Sidestep mm. fan, what a nightmare. Yeah, that's, that's, pretty, that's a pretty sick team. Uh, yes, and the other one is uh, has a Mighty Blow, so... Guard Mighty Blow. Uh, It's interesting, isn't it? That's an that's a really that's a really cool team. Yes, he's a uh, very lean, and he has very strong uh, players. I mean, two movement nine, one of them a G five, and another one with a G five. He's like, he has the stats exactly where you want them on the catchers and developed catchers. Yeah, incredible stuff, incredible. Right, and then we've got. The other PMD team versus Inspector Morse. Okay. Half his Mongloom with humans. 22 4 8. Not terrible. Oh god, this is a very injured team. <laughs> but uh, very injured, but with a lot of skills too. But yes, they pay the price to qualify. They pay the price. <laughs> He has a Mr. Throw. He has a Mr. Throw. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> He's got an old throw on a human team. Oh, that's that's terrible. <laughs> AG5 uh, catcher. Yeah. Yeah, the AG5 catcher is pretty cool, but it still feels bare bones, doesn't it? This guy had plus yes. AG up and then got. Nice so he has an orc thrower, a good elf uh, catcher. With Armor 7. And yeah, this team uh, clearly played hard, worked hard to qualify and uh, managed to do it. So, congratulations. Also, as humans, they can do, you know, just a little luck and they can uh, beat nearly anyone. Yeah. Well, sometimes a lot of luck. Oh, God, he's up against Norse. Oh, dear. Oh, it's because it's Norse instead of Norse. Wow, unbeaten Norse. Unbeaten Norse 13 13 0. <laughs> Wow. Um. <laughs> Norse team, a Norse team with a uh, Norse stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even want to look no. at this disgusting team. <laughs> Bloody Norse. <laughs> disgusting Norse. Um, I mean, that'll be a match, won't it? Norse versus humans. I'll put the humans as a favorite there. Just because I prefer humans. Yeah. Yeah, Norse don't count as human. <laughs> right, here's Elite 16 2 3. 
With, Very um, good record for Camry. Oh, yeah. Pretty good team as well, isn't it? And this is, this is the team you want to qualify with with Cambridge. Three block uh, Tomb Guardians without any injury. Yeah. Very good Blitz Rush. Yeah. It's missing. The only thing that's missing is the classic throw row with the stats. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, that's a pretty, that's a pretty decent team, isn't it? I like that team. And block TV Tackle well. Russell. Block Tackle Russell there, you know, all, all the skills on the throw row. <laughs> yeah. He's missing dirty player. That's well. If you are rolling guard uh, doubles, you know, and it's a skeleton, I can forgive that. But <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's the one thing he's missing. To be fair, and only thirteen men as well. So I mean, obviously, he could die more if he wants. Interesting. God, it's, I'm really bad at remembering the other name. I like, just instantly, I just forget <laughs> the opponents. <laughs> oh, Mr. Light Nurgle. 1963, only about 100 games less than Elliot. Uh, than Elliot. <laughs> and it's uh, for how bloody, bloody is Nargle. This is a good Nargle team. Only 1700, yeah. he has a Claw Palm, Claw Mighty, a Ball Carrier. Not very good, but a strength for a Pestigor. Yeah. yeah, it's not a terrible team, is it? It's not a terrible team, but it's missing a lot of things that you'd want. Like you'd much rather be two two K with Nurgle, so like yes, you want to go brace the bloat. Yeah, yeah, only two re rolls. Yeah, yeah, it's... two re rolls, only two F players, and very lacking guard. Right, only two guards, so he's really got to somehow get hits on the tomb guardians, and and then obviously if he gets lucky. You win, but uh, that's looking real bad for him. <laughs> it's looking real yes, bad for him. Yes, especially because all the two, nearly all the Toon Guardians have blocked too, so it's yeah. very complicated. <laughs> Apo for Yeti Lunatic. Okay, we'll look at them in a second. He's up against Hezdun's Lizards, 23 9 1. Very nice. He's got two strength five Saurus. <laughs> and a strength three skink there, a strength three skink with block. <laughs> block diving tackle, a strength three. Interesting. Only one guard on the entire team. And the Croxigor has block, of course. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, two guards on the entire team. But yeah, block, great Crocs, isn't it? Block guards stand firm. Perfect. Yes, I mean, only two guards, but he has also two strength five players, you know? Yeah. So... <laughs> Yeah. I think he'll find a way to <laughs> find to die. <laughs> yeah. And you know, over the course of the cup he might he might get a couple more guards easily, so and these two are also really close to guards. Yes, so they say again they another 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 thing with that with maybe a couple uh, games more will be much more powerful but, but uh, again the races were so tight this season that uh... Oh well Wow, look at this, 35-10-5. Well, only 50 games, only 50 games, below average. <laughs> it's a lot of games. Um... And 50 games, and this is the team you get. The team obviously have suffered a lot of uh, injuries. Yeah. Wow. Because he's missing a lot for 50 games. He is, but he's no, so I've got no sympathy whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> Dead and Core versus More Red Hell's Finest Losers. Okay. It's Mankiz the Mankiz Meat Throttle. 26 4 and healthy ish team, only minus movements. Online man, that is not that important. Strength for a Blitzer, AG5 Blitzer will leap. Which helps with another. That's a good uh, Dark Earth team. Yeah, I quite like this. Quite like this. A lot of dodge there, so yeah. Yeah, nine blodges. Well, Rog, nine blodge and Rog. A couple of stats. All pretty nice. Um. He's up against probably un some kind of undead team, which 
Yeah, Necro. Necro. 18-0-2. No draws. This team wins or loses, you know, no middle ground. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, hasn't got guard on the freshies. Two tackles. They want to have to work extra time. Yeah. Couple of dirty players. But um, I think the, I think the key thing is the underdeveloped fleshies. I mean, the wolves are underdeveloped. I mean, he hasn't got any games right, so he's not going to be very well developed anyway. But yeah, mighty blow girl is weird, right? That could just be a guard girl. Uh, I think he probably should have played until he had guard on the fleshies. Uh, yeah, the mighty blow girl. I I don't know. You really gonna risk your ghoul, you know, doing blitzes and all that? Well, the other option is giving him guards. I had to check that it wasn't Dionysian as the coach there when when, when Dios said he was a really good coach. <laughs> um, yeah, he's all right, isn't he, Binky? He's, he's, I think he's won or been in the final before. One of the two. Um, something that's kind of interesting, isn't it? <laughs> it's a, it'll be a game of Blood Bowl. <laughs> all right. Van Karstein's elite. It should be Von Karstein, shouldn't it? Versus to thine elf be true. Oh dear. More bloody necro. Twenty-two eight four. Good. Uh, what a wolf movement nine. Yeah. Downless. Strength up, fleshy, not even block, and the other one obviously is just rookie. Yeah, yeah, brand new fleshy there. Tackle pump. Well, it's a, it's a fleshy, he could have played every single game and not get an SPP in any game at all. Because <laughs> he could that's do. the course. No, but it's brand new, it's brand new. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the tackle pump way is pretty nice. Ra rackle strip ghoul. And ball. No, it's rackle uh, kick. Rackle kick. Oh, is that ball. rackle kick. Oh god, that's rackle kick. Why the fuck is he rackle kick? <laughs> I mean, okay. Right. Yeah, I've lost interest in that team now. Now that I've seen that. <laughs> and this is Perovay. That's why he was like, ooh, eighteen six two. And. It's kind of a. What the hell? Well, I don't even know what that skill is. Diving catch. Diving catch. Diving catch. Going Jeez. all in on the concept of the pro <laughs> It was a misclick. Fair enough. Um, so yeah, it's okay. Onyx. <laughs> Why are you going for a diving tackle then, maybe? <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It helps. It helps in the rain. <laughs> and that's true. It's not a misclick. It's two misclicks. <laughs> yeah, in inaccurate balls. You could you could catch them, but yeah, that's that's a really really bad one for a nose of steel catcher. Yeah, for sure. Ouch. Um, but yeah, very bare bones, isn't it? To be fair, there's there's not a lot to this team. Um, Three, four, five bludgers. It, it's it's the problem that you get with elves like high elves and pro elves is having to like having to level them up to bludge is like just brutal. Whereas yes, as dark elves, it takes time. It takes time, and also, <clears throat> but four bludge steps, but no guard. That is rough. It's very very rough. Yeah. At least he has a kick, you know. Yeah. Way. <laughs> 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 and diving catch could give him the cap in the final, you know. <laughs> oh, dude. Alright, there you go. And one more time versus Pants. <laughs> That's great. I'm cheering on Pants there for sure. But yeah, like, it's funny, isn't it? Oh, God, it's Anne Racker. Um, August 11 4 6. Yeah, because the thing is, like, you know, Dark Elves have six players that just need six SPP to get Bludge, and, and Wood Elves have got six players that, well, two of them start with Lodge, and four of them only need six SPP to get Bludge, but High Elves and Pro Elves just take ages to get block Bludge. It's brutal. Well, there you go. There's an Ogre team. The Ogre team that qualified. 
Yeah. I remember seeing a who was she bro or something like that having an absolutely monstrous uh, ogre team with the ogres being absolutely beasts. So what happened to that team? I don't know. I mean, that's a good record, isn't it? Eleven four six. He probably just probably just didn't get that good a record. I mean, ogres are really really fucking shit. <laughs> Is the problem. The problem is, is Orgs are just a terrible, terrible team. So it's Yeah, they it's only exist to destroy other teams. Yeah. Oh, it's Norse. I'm not cheering on the team called Pants. 17-4-3. I like that he just called his team Pants. For a team that has no pants. <laughs> yeah. The meta. <laughs> oh, wow, he's got a nice Yeti look. Mighty Blow piling on Juggernaut guy. <laughs> Dirty player fans. <laughs> He's got a C nut. He's got a C nut with minus move and minus edge. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I think it's gonna be a rough match for the Norse. <laughs> yeah. It is. They'll still probably win though, just because Ogs are terrible. That's true, yeah, Tony. There was once a great ogre team, yeah, and it nearly won. It nearly won in Chalice if only its coach didn't made a blunder. Um, right. So looking at this, I've already forgotten all of the teams in this bracket. But maybe the maybe oh the Kemri, right? The Kemri, the new ladder the Kemri, resolution, the, the Kemri. Kemri were good. Kemri were very good. And. Maybe the maybe the dark elves with the dark elves. Yeah, the, these dark elves. I think those dark elves are my pick for the bottom, the bottom quarter. Um, right. Now we've got this. We've got a a big team versus a Cyrillic team. Brilliant. Is this the big team? Yeah. Oh, it's Zon sixteen three zero unbeaten. Well, there you go. It's a, it's <laughs> it's an it's a Zon team. Yes. A lot of skills on the lane, woman. Ten bodge. Some guard. TV efficient. Obviously, great record. Okay, that's that's that. And this is the uh, Sniperino. Who's Sniperino? That's somebody like uh, Colin or something, isn't it? 25-8-3. Not that good a team, to be fair. Not that good a team. This guy could have really been 76 for tackle. Um, this one. Decent yeah. carry, though, isn't it? Strength, it edge 4, blodge is what you want. Lots of wrestle, yeah. Weird team. Like really lacking guard on the Warriors. Yes. But guard in other places. No. I imagine. I'll give in a guard wrestle. I don't like that. No. Do you know what? I bet I bet he took tackle on this guy because of his opponent. Oh, maybe not though, because it's He's, he's on 59, but it's going to work out pretty well that he took tackle on the Warrior <laughs> against Zons. Um, and, but really bad that he hasn't got tackle on, on this beast man. So there you go. Um, I think the Zons will be favourite there, as, as much as they're not a Chaos team. I think uh, Chaos have got wasted TV and the claws and don't have enough block and tackle and stuff, so I think... I think the zone should be favourite there. Um, a PI brutal team versus stupid flip. Okay. It's dwarfs. Dwarfs is 1590, 26 3. Yeah. This looks more like a PC team. <laughs> yeah, it does. It's actual PC team. <laughs> yeah, this is an actual PC team, yep. Loads of guard, some mighty blow, some stand firm. Bare minimum in it, you know, the two blitzers, one runner, one troll. Yep, that's a, that's a pretty... I mean, it's good though, isn't it? Like, it's good, it's very TV efficient. 
It's a very strong team. Nine guards, that's a lot of guard. Yeah, tons of guard. This is Andres Chorfs. 21-72, very nice record. Got a full claw plumber. But two rookie Chorfs. Not great balls. An okay Chorf team. Yeah. It's just not 2k chops, is it? That's the thing. Yeah. That's the thing. It's okay, but the, the problem is when chorf teams are okay, they're like all of their weaknesses are exposed more, aren't they? So, like, it's just, you know, it's the, the, the cob goblins are bigger bigger targets because they just don't have the guard and stuff to protect them. You don't have the claw pump to make enough It's enables. only four guard on the team. Yeah. You that's, don't that's really hard. Goals. And one of the guard is a hob goblin, you know, assume that hob goblin. Uh, Attack someone, that whole goblin is dead. Next yeah. turn. Yeah. Yeah, so that's. As, as much as it's like Chorf with a claw pommer, it's still just not that good. Um, yeah. Right, good old Underworld versus Nolly Stinky Bangers. <laughs> okay. It's Nurgle. 25-3 and gain 100 games a shot of Elliot. <laughs> but maybe a better team than Elliot's. Wow. This is this is much more time of vision. Oh, he's even got no hands all tense. He's got rotters are all called Elliot. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Absolute legend. Absolute legend. <laughs> <laughs> that was brilliant. His team's basically better than Elliot's as well, isn't it? Despite only playing like th less than 30 games, obviously he's, he's had great luck in not having any Warriors die. And while obviously you'd rather have more, right? You'd rather have block on this one and stuff, and mighty blow on these two or whatever, but like, got a 78 SPP claw pom, which is what you want, isn't it? To get those five skills yes. that you need. A very good killer. A decent killer without block. Yeah. Yeah, obviously you'd rather have block as well, but like it's pr it's pretty good. Obviously you should have probably played another ten games to finish it, but at the end of the day uh, yes. you could have had somebody and dying. And a frenzy pesting or just because. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Squirrel. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Like you, When you get to this kind of stage, often you just kind of want to pussy out and just rely on the... On, you're probably going to get easier games in the playoffs, like unbelievably, but true because it's so easy to just run, like you know, especially if, especially with him being an, an Urgle team, there was a very good chance of him getting spin, spinning into uh, spinning in Wellyard at 3 a.m. <laughs> and then you have, you know, Underworld, very undeveloped Underworld, so oh. perfect to get SPP for the Nargle team, yeah, if they manage to win. Fourteen nine one, yeah, exactly. There's so many like kind of crappy teams in the cup, right? All the humans, all the all the stunties. You know, there's a, there's there's a lot more kind of edge teams than than just horrible bash teams. So it's certainly if you're a big bash team, that it, it becomes more appealing to just stop trying to build and rely on building the cup. Um, the jack team, the jack team. So anything could happen with this team. Yeah, 1160 claw pom, absolutely classic. That's what he, that's what he does, isn't it? Um, yeah, zero rerolls, just the lead. Zero rerolls. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he can get some rerolls with inducements, I guess. Disgusterous. Um, yeah, like he's almost favourite to win as well, isn't he? Like he's almost favourite to win. That's the crazy thing, because there's going to be a lot of inducements, but. Um, I think the Nurgle will be favourite. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Squishiest meat bags. Okay. This is Noon's Woodies. 2153. It was a crazy Wood Elf race, wasn't it? Oh my god. What a, what a, what players these are. It's crazy, isn't it? Strength 4 dancer. A strength four dancer would be incredible in any other season. <laughs> he, he has two strength yeah, four dancers. Two ones move nine as well. With a sprint. 
And uh, sure feet. Yes, Prince sure feet. <laughs> and then he, but he's also got this catcher with with sprint sure feet. Move nine, edge five, sidestep, leap. Interesting. And you know he's he's only got two loners. That's that's a pretty decent team. That's a pretty pretty decent team. And he's up against misspelled trees. Else, isn't he? Oh my god, 1300. Oh god, <laughs> this team's got no less. Players in this, team. <laughs> this team's got even less. <laughs> for six players for, for the game. Six <laughs> players. If you put these two teams together, you'd have a good team, a really good team. <laughs> 22 hit <here>, 3. <laughs> wow. Well qualified at the cost of everybody fucking dying, I guess. Nice tree though. Catcher. Yes, nice sweet movement three. Nice one catcher. <laughs> Jeebus. AG AG5, a mighty blow, uh, tackle, side step, sure hands. So yeah. That word answer does everything on the team. Pick up the ball, blitz, scores. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's not much of a team left, is there? I don't know. I don't know. We don't have time, kill. We don't have time to check. Right now we've got Tid. Oh, it's, it's that, that's that top quarter done, isn't it? Yeah. I, I think this. The I guess. I guess Nolly's Nolly's Nurgle team is probably the overall favorite. The favorite there, there is. Tato versus a big team. Okay. It was these, wasn't it? Oh, Zons. So, that's a, that's a Zon team. <laughs> He's got a couple of stat ups. Only four guards. Four guard, but three mighty blow. Tackle. He's taking side steps on doubles instead of just giving them stand ferns for less TV. So, I'm not a, shan not a fan of that. Um, sidestep on these, obviously, because they're catchers. Yeah, I mean, it's alright, isn't it? It's a Zon team. It's still quite low TV. 17 10 after he takes the skills. Interesting. But he's up against one of the best coaches walking God's green earth. <laughs> 27 2. Uh, but unfortunately for Gadenik, he's got shitty birds. <laughs> He's got a tackler. And I guess another tackler, right? Bludge. Mighty Bludge. Yeah, that, 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 that must, must, must get tackled. Yeah, he's got to get tackled, yeah. Yeah. So, in 1700, he might go up. Nah, well, he'll go to 1750. It's so about 1700, so it's going to be pretty much even TV. Yeah, dirty player. But if he ever knocks anybody Maybe. over. Diving tackle on the leader. Fan on the ball carrier, one mighty blow, four gas, it's alright, it's a bad team. Yeah, it's Well, right. he still have, can give a shadow wing to the lineman there, you know. <laughs> in sons, in sons that low movement, you know, movement six. Yeah, it's not that bad actually. Right, lizards versus... Right. There we go, Singolo. And chops. 21 3 3. Full claw pommet. There, look at that jump up and pro. Glorious. Oh, oh, there is a killer. That's a killer and a half. Incredible. I literally a killer and a half because he's got pro as well. <laughs> yes, and, and, and the ball carrier also has pro. Yeah, wow. The poor man dodge. Yeah. So, not, not a lot apart from the claw pommet, but. Great that he's got a claw pommel there. But that's the thing, it's going to be really, real tough against Lizards, isn't it? Because if he gets the hits, then um, then he's laughing. Like, if he gets the removals, the hits and the removals, he's laughing. But it's going to be real hard for him to get those hits and those removals. 24-6-5. Martin scores easy back in the game. Oh, my God. Four skills to take. Four skills to take. And a strength six block Croxigor. <laughs> yeah. Incredible. Incredible. 
And then so so these two can both take guard, right? So that's four, five, six guard total. Very nice. That's I mean, I mean surely he's going to take guard to dominate the uh, chaffs. Yes, there. and he has uh, extra money in the bank, so probably buying another skin. Yeah, that's a pretty good team, isn't it? Blood, shoe, hands, skink. Very good skink, very good croxigor. Saurus are the half all they need. Yeah. So yes, really good team. Very, mm. very lean. Yeah, might blow tackler for like the other teams. Yeah, that's for possible. Singolo. It's all, all coming to the claw. Yeah, yeah. I think that's a rough draw for Singolo because yeah, he's gonna have to get lucky basically, and if he doesn't, he's up shit creek. Let it go. He is bright with Skaven. 22-3-3. Ooh, missing a Claw Mighty, but he's got a Claw Palmer. And he's got various gutters, none of which are super exciting, right? No stats. No stats. In fact, one of them is moving eight. Thorn Barman is moving six. Yeah. Loads of injuries. Not a very good team, and he's up against the greatest coach of all time. If you listen to what he says, <laughs> he certainly thinks he is. Six nine. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. Guy is a lovely fella, and he is really good. But he's got this bizarre idea that Hail Mary Pass isn't utter shit, and. He's unfortunately a little bit deluded in that regard because Hail Mary okay. is absolutely massive, terrible. Massive respect. So having a you know a strength for Agi for thrower <laughs> and uh, and give him a you know a Hail Mary pass. That's <laughs> respect. Yeah. <laughs> lose the chance. Lose the chance of calling the team Huel Mary full of pace you know, <laughs> instead of Hail. Yeah, Huel Mary. <laughs> He, oh god, he's gonna have to say a few Hail Marys to get out of this one. That's that is terrible. <laughs> the rest of the team, there's like nothing to it. The blitzers, are like I guess he's got a mighty blow tackler, um, hatch four guard, dodge. Like it's it's a real ropey team, really ropey team. Like there's n there's basically nothing to the team. But um, you know, Dio's good. Will it be enough that he's good? He Maybe. will use Hail Mary passing ways as we can imagine. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> right, now we've got a vampire. 16-5-3. I mean, the, the main problem there, Moradam, is he just shouldn't have called it if, if he was going to force himself to take Hail Bloody Mary. <laughs> but he thinks it's good. I don't you know. Like, who am I to say if he's right or wrong? Well, there is absolutely nothing besides the IG-5 on, the, on this team. Very bare bones. Yeah, he just he Five. needed the pros, didn't he? He needed pros on, on like yes. everybody. Five rerolls, that's alright. You know, four and the leader, so yeah, it will help, but yeah, it's not terrible, it's just that I mean it's bumps, just you know, they can gaze their way out of any situation. Yeah. You would just really have liked to have seen like pro on these two. Yeah, this will be I think at least four of your bumps to be 51 or something like that to actually have, you know, yeah. more than enough tools because if that tackle, tackler is out of the pitch, yeah. you are going to struggle again versus the most of the teams. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I would, I would say you definitely, like it's so critical to have tackle on them because, you know, they've got to get the ball, haven't they? It's like, if you've got vampires that can't knock the ball carrier over, you're going to lose. <laughs> so you just have to have tackle. Right, here's Arzaway and he's up against 18-3-3, very nice record. And, wow, he's got a horrible ordering, but his Warriors are really good actually, aren't they? He's got three Black Guard ones and Black yep. Guard Claw Mighty, so he's got he's got great, a great core of Warriors. Uh, he's got two Claw That big man with there. Dodge probably will get sure hands. Yeah. Yeah. To have a brilliant uh, ball carrier. Yeah. Two killers, one with block, the other with tackle. Yeah, it's interesting. And probably that the uh, beastman I get guard. Yeah. Yeah, so that's, that's a pretty good team. Like again he could have done with more games, right? Like it's only twenty one 
20, it's not 21, <laughs> it's only 24 games. Uh, he probably should have keep playing and, and just got everything rounded out, out, I think. You know, he probably should have done if he wanted to win Chalice, but I think it's going to be a bit too light that's, for that. That's the thing, you know, the, 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 the debate between qualifying for Chalice or going to win Chalice. Yeah. Yeah, and, and the record was great, right? The the record was great, and the players were great. It was a great basis to like go on and make a a, a, a winning yes. team from, I think. And that was the last team. And I have to say something about the teams this season. There are two kinds of teams: the teams that play the minimum amount of games to qualify, and the teams that play way, way, way too many <laughs> games to qualify. <laughs> yep, and that's and you can see, can't you? Like, there's some there's some really good teams, and there's some really really bad ones. <laughs> <laughs> I have two questions. One of them was, wasn't Artemis want to try to qualify with a, a Dwarf team? What happened to that? He just didn't take his ticket. He, he had a, he had a, he had a like fundraising thing, and if he got fifty quid, he would have accepted his ticket, and he didn't get it, so he didn't, he didn't accept his ticket. <laughs> My God, that's, oh, well, that's, that's hundred percent Artemis there. So yeah, can uh, understand that, you know. <laughs> and the other one was in um, uh, Chanter trying to qualify every single human team. Yeah, and it looks like he didn't qualify any team. Yeah, yeah. any of them. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> rough times. There was a lot of streamers that were having a really, really rough time to qualify this season. Yeah, and Andy David didn't qualify for like the first time in, in it feels in like forever. ages. Yeah. And he tried really, really hard. I mean, he was watching him and he had to restart teams more or less three teams per day. Yeah, unbelievable. And then uh, uh, Miss Pell 3 also have a really rough time. Managed yeah. to qualify. I mean, I mean Elliot, <laughs> Rick, a struggle. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Page uh, was sick. Okay, Mr. Page was sick. Yeah. I got sick at the end, but um, which stopped me putting more games on and like stopped me trying the Chaos team. But uh, well, there you go. Right, that's uh, that's it. Anyway, there's all the teams, and we've finished this pretty much perfectly on time here. So there you go. That was that was good, wasn't it? Uh, <laughs> thank you very much, Fami. Absolutely glorious of you to come on and do it. Thank you very Always much. Always a pleasure being here, and I my hundred support for the strength seven mummy. I want that mummy reach the final. <laughs> glorious. <laughs> and I score the title winning touchdown with brick tackle. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.